Hi, I'm Adam Mendoza, and welcome to the Ohio Athletic Conference Football Preview. We're here with Coach John Snell of the Yellow Jackets of Baldwin Wallace University. Coach, thank you for joining us. Last year, a bit of an up and down year, but what areas are you looking to see improvements on as you head into this campaign? Well, we, we obviously uh, uh, finished the season in a, in a way that we typically don't like to finish, and, and uh, so I, I'm looking that uh, for our, our team to progress defensively. I, I think we, we've got, you know, some key returners coming back on defense. Uh, so I really think that um, we, we need to and, and we're certainly capable of, of playing great defense. Uh, so uh, that, that's what I'm hoping to see from, from day one, Adam. When you, you look at this year coming back, you got 29 lettermen, 12 starters returning, seven on the defensive side. Talk about building off of that solid core. You, you mentioned it a little bit. Talk about building off that solid core of returning players. Well, as I mentioned uh, downstairs, you know, we, we have three starting D linemen returning. We have two linebackers, Danny O'Brien, who you'll see in a minute uh, here, uh, returning, who I think is one of the better players in the conference. Um, and then we have two corners returning. So we, we have a solid nucleus of people coming back on defense. That, and, and they understand what it takes to, to play good defense. Um, so I, I think when you have that number of people returning, um, that's a big thing going into the season. And, and they got they got to step up for us. You know, we, we have a new offensive coordinator, so it's going to take some time for the offense to get going. Uh, so those guys on defense have to really get it cranked up right from right from day one for us. Then on offense uh, last year, three quarterbacks that all saw time, Michael Stack, Kyle Zansky, and Tyler Moglin. Uh, you look at that, how nice is it having that kind of flexibility at the quarterback position? Some think it's a hindrance, but uh, we've seen it with this Baldwin Wallace team over the years of multiple quarterbacks. No, I, I think that's an advantage. You, you have a couple guys who have experience playing, um, and I, I think we, we've we've actually moved Michael to to the wide receiver position. So it, it's it's uh, primarily down to Kyle and, and Tyler, uh, but they're two very intelligent guys who understand the game I think very well, uh, and who've worked hard uh, to. Uh, uh, prepare themselves for being the starting quarterback and I know both of them are going to compete like crazy to win the job so uh, to me that's a that's a good position to be in and um, I'm excited to see who who the guy is that's going to step up and, and take over. Now when you look at the, when you talk to coaches and players in this conference you know there's a lot made about offense and defense but really you, you look at the special teams big key in this conference you lose a lot on the special teams last year. Talk about that loss last year and then what you hope to get this year in the special teams area. Uh, yeah, we, we've, we, we lost some really, really uh, uh, quality people from our special teams. Uh, you know, our punter was the first team AFC All-American punter, led the conference in punting uh, as a three-year starter. Uh, we had a kicker who had, a think, you know, I thought had a great season last year, did not miss a field goal. And then you know, we have two, uh, two of the best kickoff return guys in the country uh, graduating with uh, Josiah Holt and, and uh, Kevin Johnson. So we, we've got some work to do special teams wise. But uh, again, I, I think we'll have guys who will step up and, and who understand the importance of special teams and, and what they can do for uh, the outcome of a football game. Lastly, tell us a little bit about senior linebacker Dan O'Brien. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, a uh, quick story. I had uh, 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 an alum who I went to school with uh, text me the other day and say, geez, I'm down um, on vacation and I run into Dan O'Brien and his dad on vacation. And uh, uh, I texted him back and said, uh, I'd love to have 11 Dan O'Briens because uh, if I had 11 Dan O'Briens playing on defense, uh, we'd be pretty darn good. So um, he's a special young man, extremely intelligent, plays hard, practices hard. Um, you know, again, uh, when you when you want to have a guy, a team of 11 guys like him, I think that tells you something about that guy. Well, coach, we want to thank you for joining us. Good luck on the upcoming yeah. season. Thank you, Adam. We are now joined by Dan O'Brien, linebacker for Baldwin Wallace University and the Yellow Jackets. As you come into this year, BW, one of the toughest defenses in the conference. Talk about the mindset, not only for you, but the rest of the defense as you get ready to stop some, some high-powered offenses in this conference. 
Uh, obviously, the, the OAC is one of the best conferences in the nation, so you have to come in focused every week, no matter who your opponent is. Uh, it starts in uh, film, film study, uh, knowing uh, other teams' tendencies, uh, their uh, plays, uh, and it also starts in practice, uh, just working hard each week, and then all that translates into the game. When you look at BW football, especially on the defensive side, over the many years, the linebackers have been a key component. Um, how is it to, to fit in that mold of some really great football players that have played linebacker in that linebacking core at BW? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, BW def definitely has a uh, huge tradition of uh, great linebackers, all Americans uh, that have played for BW. And uh, for us as a unit, we just try and uh, come in every day, uh, not focus on you know being the best, just coming in every day, focusing on what we have to do uh, as individuals and, and as a team, and just trying to get better every day. Now you're being a senior this year. Talk about the leadership, especially on the defensive side. Coach says a lot of, a lot of uh, upperclassmen there. How important is it being a senior leadership on the team? Yeah, Coach Nell has definitely talked to me in the offseason about uh, being more of a leader. I've always uh, led by example. I'm, I'm not the, the loudest or the, the rah-rah guy out there usually, but uh, uh, this year I'd like to be a little more vocal and uh, along with uh, uh, leading by example and in the classroom too. Now, as we look for the season coming up, uh, goals that you, you set for yourself and, and as a team? Uh, individually, uh, I'd like to just be, like I said, become more of a leader, not focus too much on the, the in individual statistics and all that. Um, and as a team, what we focused on more this offseason was not uh, always preaching uh, national championship, conference championship. We've uh, been preaching just taking one day at a time, getting better every day and our goals will follow after that. Well, Dan, good luck on the upcoming season. Thank you. For more information about Baldwin Wallace or other teams in the OAC, you can go to OAC.org. I'm Adam Mendoza, and thank you for joining us for the Ohio Athletic Conference Football Preview.